As an angler, researcher, and a proponent for the sport of fishing, Dr. Eric Prince is considered one of the world's fisheries top scientists. His research has been published over 100 times during his nearly four-decade career with the National Marine Fisheries Service. During World War II, Eric's father was a captain in the United States Air Force. When the war ended, the family moved to Great Falls, Montana, where his father taught flight school at the newly established Malmstrom Air Force Base, located near the Missouri River. At the age of five, Eric caught his first fish, a rainbow trout. Years later, his father said that he knew from that day fishing was going to be a very important part of Eric's life. At the age of nine, Eric's family moved to Southern California, where he spent most of his free time fishing on the Santa Monica Pier and taking half-day offshore trips with his father. At 17, Eric began to work as a deckhand on boats fishing the Catalina and San Clemente Islands. Eric's interest in fish and their aquatic environments expanded when he became a certified scuba diver at the age of 18 and his time on and under the waters off California would lay the groundwork for what would become his life's work. Eric played four years of college football after which he completed his graduate school degree in fisheries science at the Humboldt State University in Northern California. He then applied for and was accepted to the Virginia Polytechnic Institute, where in 1977 he earned his Ph.D. in fisheries. After graduating, Eric says... The rest was history. Eric then began his career at the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in Clemson, South Carolina. After a three-year stint in 1980, Eric joined the U.S. Department of Commerce and began working for the National Marine Fisheries Service in Miami, Florida. He was immediately tasked with working on blue marlin and billfish and quickly became the subject of the majority of his life's work. For the next 37 years, Eric established himself as one of the world's top billfish scientists. While working with National Marine Fisheries Service, his primary duties included taking the lead for the agency in conducting and coordinating Atlantic billfish research activities, development and implementation of the Atlantic Billfish Research Plan, and coordination of the International Commission for the Conservation of Atlantic Tuna, ICAT, Enhanced Research Program for Billfish in the Western Atlantic. His international responsibilities also included acting as the ICAT Rapporteur for Billfish and Chairman of the ICAT Billfish Working Group to expedite Atlantic-wide assessments on sailfish, white marlin, and blue marlin. During his career, he was a driving force in the adopt billfish satellite tagging program and a leading researcher and proponent of the use of circle hooks. Eric has published over 100 scientific papers on a wide range of topics, including biology, early life history, migration, reproduction, conservation science through the use of circle hooks, and ecology of pelagic species such as tuna, billfish, and swordfish. In his most recent work, Eric's research team focused on how climate change impacts marine pelagic predators in large oxygen minimum zone ecosystems. Eric's work has been recognized by his peers and the scientific community. He's received numerous honors and accolades for his decades of service, including the Outstanding Ph.D. Candidate Award from Virginia Tech, Award of Excellence from the International Society for Pacific Northwest Technical Competitions, Research Award from the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation, the Loki Distinguished Lecturer Award from Texas Tech University, the Certificate of Appreciation Award, Individual Scientific Achievement Award, and Award for Lifetime Achievement from the Billfish Foundation, the Computer World Award Smithsonian Institute Laureate, and the International Gamefish Association Conservation Award. Where'd it go? Senor! Good. <laughs> All right. That's my dog. For his extensive research on important recreational species to ensure their sustainable management and a lifetime of fishing, we welcome Dr. Eric Prince into the International Game Fish Association Fishing Hall of Fame.